All right. All right, I think we can get started. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for taking time over your lunch time to be here. Who here is uh, familiar with customer insights or heard about us? Just a little bit? Good. So you came to the right place. So my name is Zainat Hazan. I'm a, a program manager at the team, with the team. Uh, we just launched Customer Insights uh, two months ago, early April. So this is uh, one of the newest additions to the Dynamics family. And uh, today we'll talk a bit about what, what it is we're trying to solve and how we're doing it. So you heard James talk yesterday about how data is everywhere today, right? It's in all of your data, in all of your processes, all of your customers, products, processes, you get data from many, many different sources. And one of the challenges that our customers have today is that they have all of this data, but first it's kind of siloed. So they use different systems for their customer relationships, for marketing, for ERP, their web activity, social media. It's all in different sources and you don't know you can, there is, it's very difficult to come to bring this data together and they, to unify and get a real view of what the customer is, what they're and what they're doing. So this is what we're trying to solve. So our vision is to empower every organization to unify their data from the, the various data sources that they have and get a 360 degrees view of the customer and their activities. But it's not only about that; it's about the actions that you can take with the data, the insights that you can get and the actions that you can take. And one more thing I want to call out is, like James said to, uh, yesterday, it's, we're not a standalone product in the sense that, yes, it is a separate product in the Dynamics family, but we are connected to all of the rest of the Dynamics and the Power Platform applications. So all the data that you get with Customer Insights, you can take anywhere you want. It's your data. And we'll see some of these integrations later today. So. In my demo today, um, we'll talk a little bit about the data, but I want to focus more on the insights that you can create and the actions that you can take. What do we do? We, we get the data from the various data sources with a pre-built connector. So if you're familiar with the Power BI uh, connectors, we're using actually the same data flows to bring in data from all of your data sources into one place. And then the second step would be to unify this data. So we use some algorithms and your own defined rules to match users from all of these data sources. So now you know, once we're done with unification, you know that ANAT had these sales and also had these web activities and these social media data all in one timeline that shows you everything about this user, all right? And as I said, after that, you create some insights, you create some ML models that drive your business processes, and you also take it outside. So if we do our job right, all the data that you create and insights that you create in customer insights that you take into your own applications, your business end users, the salespersons, the marketing managers that use other applications don't even know that customer insights exist. They just, some magic happens, they get all of this information and data in their applications. And we'll see how that works. So I'll switch to a demo, show you my, my screen or not. Sorry, let me get out of demo mode. So this is customer insights. And we, uh, as I said, the first step is to bring in all the data sources. And in my, in my demo today, we're going to talk about Hotel as our imaginary customer that brought in data from their CRM, they're using Dynamics for sales, uh, and from some other data sources like their hotel reservations and then hotel activities that customers can purchase on site. And, and I'm not going to talk a, a lot about our Unify process. If you have questions how you, we do that, please come find us. We have a booth there. Because today, I only have 20 minutes. I can talk for two hours about this product. Uh, but I want to focus on what we can do with the data. So now that you have a unified profile of the user, and you know all of their activities, all of their sales in, from all of the data sources, we can start building insights on top of that. One of the types of insights is just measures. It can be either a customer measure, so it's only on, on the customer level, total 
uh, spend, lifetime value, the count of services they use. It can be dimensionalized, so like, like a count of services per year, per month, per service type. It can also be a business type of measure because this application at the aggregated level, you can take this data and give it to the hotel manager or your, your business manager to understand the health of the business. So you create those, uh, th those measures. The other thing that we can, we can do here is help your data scientists to start prepare the data and use it in your models. So, so the, the first thing that we, in terms of the, our ML capabilities, the first experience that we unlocked is the bring your own model. AI is hard. It's really hard to have a template that works for everyone. There is no one size fits all. We, some, in some scenarios, and you saw that maybe if you attended some of the AI builder um, uh, demos, then yes, you can use some templates to build AI models. And we are going to provide these capabilities later in our October timeline. But right now, the first application that we provide is the ability to work with your data scientist or with a partner that can build a model for you, take all the data that you build in CI, the unified customer profile, all of their activities, all of their measures that you created, the data that you prepared for them, and take it outside to an Azure blob and let your data scientist build the model for you, then bring the data back into CI to continue and build the insights on top of that. And so the first step for that is to export the data into an Azure blob, run the model, have your data scientist run the model, and then publish the model into your own tenant. And once this is done, and in our scenario, we created two, uh, two uh, ML models. One is a churn score and like a best next offer. And think that this, this data comes from many different data sources. It's not just your sales data. You can build a churn model that is based on all of their activities across all of the data sources because we now know that it's the same person in all of these activities. What we are allow you to do is create a workflow that automatically kicks that model that is now published. We discover that model for you because it's under the same tenant. And we, you create a workflow, sorry. You create a workflow that every day, once we um, refresh all the data, you go and it kicks the scoring of the model, gets the data back into CI like an entity as a new entity that you can now build your, again, your measures on top of it and your, or your segments on top of it, all right? And then in the future, as I said, we're going to have more capabilities within the, the, within the app, like the integration with AI Builder and some more intelligent uh, segments and measures ourselves. But the first application, and because we know AI is hard and everything is customized, we let you bring your own model for your needs, for the data that you have. So you create the workflow, we, we discover it automatically, we discover the inputs and the outputs of the model, and, and you're done. And what happens now is a new entity is created for you, and if you go to the, all of your data sources, you will be able to see that now you have two new entities that br were brought into the system, which is the customer churn score and the customer recommendations. And I forgot to mention that everything is in our system is an entity. We treat everything as an entity that is standardized, formalized. You can take it anywhere you want. You can export it to CSV. You can take it to any other dynamics or uh, power platform application. The last type of insight that you can create with our system is segments. And our tool today is no very different from any regular segmentation tool that you might be familiar with. It's the same types of conditions and operators that you can create. But the, the main power here is the ability to create these conditions, again, on data sources that were siloed before and now are brought into one place. So think about a, a segment that is all of my customers that read three emails because I brought in my marketing engagement data, visited my website, five times in the last three days, and also have high churn score. All of that in one segment that now you can, now you can take into your marketing applications and bring it back and use that. So these are the types of insights that we can create, but now insights by themselves are not interesting if you cannot take action on top of that. So what can you do with the data? As I said, we, we, are, we are working seamlessly with everything within the dynamics and uh, and Power Platform um, 
family. So the first thing that you can do is, sorry, let me switch back to my, uh, to my deck. And I want, uh, that one I'll show you as a, <clears throat> the first thing that you can do is if you've seen some of the sales insights, sales and sales insight demos, then you'll see that there is a new contact card. It's available in App Source that it's an add-on to Dynamics. And you can bring in data from customer insights, including the measures that you created in customer insights, and see that in sales or in marketing or in FNO, any Dynamics app. You can bring all of the, the user's activity into sales. So now it's no longer just the sales um, interaction that you had, the salesperson had that with that lead. It's everything that they did outside the sales app. And also you can start creating cards with a card assistant that use the, the, the CI, the customer insights output, like the churn score, their names, the next best offer for them, and put that on the card within sales. And that goes, uh, again, with any other Dynamics app, you can do that. This is just a sales example. The other example that I have is, uh, and I did that really easily just this morning. Sorry, let me get out of the presentation mode. You can also create a Power App. So what I did today is just created a very simple Power App that ha we built connectors from Power Apps and Flow, I'll show Flow as well, into Customer Insights. So we brought all the data from, all the profile data from Customer Insights and for each of the customers, all of their activities, their measure, their churn score, their total stay. This is something I did in like 10 minutes earlier this morning and start to customize that for the apps that you need. So if you don't like customer insights, you can build Power Apps to you to, and call our services. We have an, uh, everything that is available through our app is also available through APIs as well. So not only you get the data, you can get access to all of our services from APIs. So, and then I also build a flow. So you can bring the data from our measures for that customer and you can start creating triggers and conditions that says, for example, if this customer has a churn score that is greater than 0 0.8, then do something. If yes, for example, create a, I showed you the example of a contact card, right? So, and you can start personalize that with the username, with the customer name, and some action that you want to take for that customer. Sorry, it's, it's, it's closed before. So you can bring their full name, some other information from customer insights, their churn score, and decide what to do with the data. All of that embedded inside sales, inside dynamics, or wherever you're using uh, flows and power apps. All right? And then we also can take this data into Power BI, because as I said, we're in the same family. Maybe our hotel manager wants to see the data in the, an aggregated level and create their own custom dashboard. We, you can bring all of the data into uh, Power BI. And then in terms of marketing, you can export those segments today into Dynamics Marketing Lists and soon to be Dynamics Marketing Segments and we are also working on an Adobe Connector. And if you have other marketing applications that you want us to start connecting with, talk to us and we'll start and, and find and create those connectors for you. All right, let me get back to my deck. So we saw how we created the flow, we created a customer card, and now you can, and now in Sales Insights, in the dashboard, you can start seeing for the sales manager how these flows uh, starting to show these assistant cards within Dynamics. And again, this works with any Dynamic app. So what did we learn today? Um, this is how we do it. We start by gathering the data from all of the data sources creating a unified view, a unified profile of our customers with all of their activities, all of their interactions. We start creating insights on top of that and taking action on those insights outside our output. And as I said, if we do our job right, none of the salespeople, anyone who is the business end user, the receptionist at the hotel, the sales manager, they don't know that customer insight exists. They just get those insights because something happens and they get that. You can adapt and extend. We work with Azure ML, we work with any Azure application, Dynamics Power Platform. 
And then everything is built on top of Azure and it's all reliable and uh, you trust us with your, with your data. So what should you do? Oh man. Um, find us, as I said, we have a stand there in the booth. Um, come talk to us, see if these scenarios work for you and we can try and, and, and see what we can do for you. Join our panel if you, if you want to get first access to our new features. We are shipping every week new features. Uh, as I said, we are a new product we just launched. This is our first big event uh, where we show this product. And go and start your own trial. I'm sorry about that. It's uh, ak.ms Dynamics, uh, Dynamics 365 CI. Start your own trial. Go there. You get a, a free trial for 30 days with demo data that you can preview. Or we, you, can bring, you can start bringing your own data and start playing with, uh, with, uh, with our tool. I think we have uh, two more minutes. Any questions? Anyone has a question? Thank you very much. It was a pleasure.